So my companion and I were coming back from a transfer meeting. We just got put together and the whole meeting, our mission president focused on what do you do with the last 20 minutes of your time? And so we had 20 minutes before you go home. 8.40 is like the hardest time because you have to be in by nine, but 20 minutes, it's, it's awkward timing. So what do you do with it shows how consecrated of a missionary you are. And so we stopped by a less active house. We're just like, we'll just go see if she's here, see what's going on. So as we get out of the car, we see this couple off to the side of us and they're, they're fighting and we're like, oh, I'm not going to get involved in that. So we go to the less active house, knock on her, talk to her for a little bit, come back out. It's like 8.55. So we have five minutes to drive home. <clears throat> it was perfect timing. But as we come back out to the car, the couple is still there fighting and we're like, I don't, I don't know. Something came over us that I asked my companion to unpop. The, the trunk of the car, we got a Book of Mormon out and we walked right over to them and we're like, I don't know why we're doing this right now, but this book will bless your life. And we gave it to them and they both stopped and they just looked at us and, and the, the guy takes it and he says, and he's actually, he actually starts to cry and he says like, thank you. This is, this is what we need in our life because we promised them it would save their marriage and their relationship and all their answers would just be in this book. And so as he took it, you could just tell like the whole demeanor there. Both of them just changed and they, they were really grateful for that. And so the Book of Mormon can do powerful things, but even more than that, our desire to, to be obedient shows the Lord that he can put people in our path and he can trust us to give us at the last minute. So we wouldn't have found them or taught them if, if we hadn't done the last 20 minutes, what could we do with that time? We wouldn't have found them because we wanted to be, work hard. We wanted to be out. The Lord gave us a blessing to let us see these people. And they're continuing to take the lessons right now. And they're still being taught. And it saved their marriage. <clears throat> My companion ran into them the other day at the store. And she's like, this, this book really did save our marriage. So God is really aware of every situation. And He's going to bless us as well as other people when we are out there to do a trip.